Hello and welcome, my name is Nilaus and this is episode 26 of our Let's Play campaign of Factorio with Bows Mods and Angels Mods. Last time we built this cute little uh, calcium... What's it? Uh, calcium something? I can't remember what it's called. What is it called? Calcium chloride. And the reason why we do that is because we are working towards silicon. More specifically, silicon wafers which will then be used to be put into transistors. Anyway, the job now is silicon pla plates. I will need to create some carbon. I'll do that locally. So in order to create carbon, I need to pipe in, and I'm gonna do that right here. I want it as close as possible. Here, but that was the last of that? Oh, that's so embarrassing that I start a new episode without having have any of basic belts. What about inserters? Uh, they're, they're fine for now. All right, let's get down here before anyone really notices that I screwed up. There we go. These ones. Anything else? No, but I can put these back in. Uh, that's something. This one goes in here, and these ones go in here. I'll take half of that stack. That should be fine. Let's get back up. Right, so as I was saying, we are um, fully stacked and ready to dive into this part. Let's jump out here. So carbon, that comes in different forms, shapes, and sizes. It requires liquefiers. So let's see, I have a, how close can I go? I can go there. Um, There, maybe. I'll just play with it here. This one is creating carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide, nope. You're, you're creating carbon dioxide. You're creating something else. No, no, I have no idea what I'm doing here. I need to start with a crusher. The crusher is crushing this. The crushed will then be put into a furnace where it will be cooked and become coke. Yes, I cook it to become coke. The coke is then processed together with carbon dioxide. This is where it comes in with the carbon dioxide going here. There's a point to that. There. Let's build it. So up, up, up. That's not here. And this goes out. What I then want to do as well, let's take this one. You're doing carbon dioxide. You are doing carbon. That should actually work. Do we want to go for a test, test run? That should be the test run, and I'd like to hook it up, actually, there. Because what I want to do is actually make, replicate it over here. And... Can that be... That can be just as close as I want. No, it shouldn't be. Um, because then this one will be strained for putting it in. There, copy, paste, and get that in there, and then insert us in, 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 and out. That one goes here, that one goes there, I suppose. So now that's also working. And then I need, I'll pipe this over and run it up along the side. Why is that not working? Because I'm not getting any. No, that must be an easier one, right? Carbon dioxide? That's the one. Okay, I thought that. Ah, oh, man, I freaked myself out there. And this one is going to be a near inserter, and that should fill up this belt. Great. Everything is good as it is. Now I have to remember, but that's the silicon now. 
silicon. Now I have all of the components for silicon. And, oops, that's silicon, that's silicon. And that goes into an electrolyzer. So we're going to do the electrolyzer. And I can common chloride and quartz ore and calcium chloride. Those are the primary ones. This one goes over here. What if this one was actually going... I need to provide these six. This is where I make the silicon, there. And I'll put it into the regular setup of two and then one in between, there. So this one's gonna grab, the long ones will be grabbing from here. Yeah, I know, I know. But I want you long, copy, paste, long, and long. Copy, again, paste, 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 paste. That means from this location, and now I forgot that this was the near inserter. Forget this one. I'll do it like this. Because this is literally only for that, for the purpose of this one. And that means I also should be And that means on this one, I'll have the silicon coming in, and then I'll have the output going here. That I'll pipe over near this one. And let's see. And let's let's start out with the ins or the exports. So I want to make sure that they are actually working. N N, copy, paste, paste. Single N, copy, paste, paste. So that's a long or far inserter, and that's a near inserter. And then we can start hooking up the inbound. Hallelujah! We got something very basic. Is it working? Oh damn! That takes a while, but I, I get two. Okay. Um, that's not good, is it? What about the silicon wafers? Where do we know? Wafer, I can't have a lot of things called wafers. They are being created in a normal one. I'm gonna get a lot of those. I will actually do something different here. Why did it stop? One, two, three. Why did you stop? Oh, because you don't have any of these. Seems like a quite a valid excuse for stopping. And light. Then I'll bring it over here and you will do the wafer. Great. The reason I want to just simplify this one is because it's it really shouldn't be any big deal about this. And the wait there there there. That's gonna be producing a hell of a lot of these. And this is actually the reason why I did it differently is because this is the one that I actually need to put out. There. The distinction here is that There, there. I wonder why I chose three. That actually seems a bit strange why I chose three. There, yeah, there, and I'll do two more. I will make this one a near inserter. And so will I make you. Great. 
that should cover us for at least some. I think that's too much. The reason why I wanted to was basically saying two of these to one of those. Great, so now we have the silicon wafers. Let's focus on the transistors. Uh, let's actually make room for the transistors up here. Get this is the outbound because now I'm kind of running out of space. This is transistors out. Transistor out. Let's check. Yes. And this one will then be inbound. I will have something in. I will have plastic inbound, which I actually need to focus on at some point, but not now. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to make the transistors in this run, just to be honest about this. Um, there's too many things to, to sort out. I don't need that many. And transistors, yeah, that I need a lot, but I seriously also just need to fill up the entire train. So in order to do that, I need to make sure that the transistors are working. I'll put them over here. So that's the output. And then I will get, will I build it over here? Okay, let's go with the transistors. Transistors. I can actually also make them in the small ones. I think that's a good idea. I need three inputs and one output. So two in the middle with the silicon wafers and the tin copper wire going into the middle. Oh, they're so small. So this is an input. That's two inputs in the middle. And I can and probably should also make it on the outside. Okay. Um, this is not good enough, is it? I have three inputs, one, two, three, and then I need the outputs on the outer lanes. I don't really like having outputs on the outer lane, but I could do it. Yeah, you know what? I'll, I'll take one output from each side. So this output is actually going to be straight in here. I like that. Now we're getting somewhere. That's going to be the output. Two inputs, two outputs. I'll make those as listed as inputs coming here. And that's an output. Let's actually just shorten it just to make absolutely sure that we can clear this out as an output. Something like this. And then I know, you know what, I'll actually go all the way over. I'm gonna be a bit crazy on this. So basically this will be the transistors. Okay, we got some company, that's pretty good. This will be where the transistor is coming in. So I have actually the one of them. This will be transistors. And let's see. Plastic bars have to come in up here. So this will be the plastic. That's plastic coming in here. Great. Then I need the transistors coming in as well. And the tin copper wire. Tin copper wire I can pipe it in from the other side. Because then I have this one. I'm, I'm building it too close. There. I like it. You're going here and you're happy about it. This one will be the tin copper wire. I have no idea where I'm going to put that. Next up, just this is just to get an idea or a sense of, of size and all of that crap. <clears throat> next, tin copper wire is the next thing I want to make. Tin copper wire is pretty easy. That's just copper and tin and wire and stuff. I'll build some of these. Why am I missing iron? As always. Uh, 
Um, okay, we can get a whole bunch of them, which I guess is necessary also for the actual transistors part. Plastic will by far be the, the biggest bottleneck, but I really need the, this to get some science, to get some, yeah. All right, um, where are we? We are going to do, is this tin copper wire? Yes, this is tin copper wire. How fast is this? This is, I get produced three from three of those. This is then the copper wire. Each of these produce two per half second, so that goes into taking three per half second. And then I need tin up here, copper down here. And then output here. Which I guess I'll just mirror it on the ups, upside here. This is way too much compared to this, but I'll just do this. I mean, I, I got to get something in here. Now the question is also that's this is where I think that I made a mistake. This is kind of uh, cheating. This one as also going to be different. That'll come from here. It'll do that, and it'll because I need the tin copper wire coming in. There. And the tin copper wire is coming here. Whoops! Don't stand on the belt and try to put other belts down. That's never gonna work. Yeah. <clears throat> this one just for the hell of it actually it got really compressed while I dragged it that's actually interesting I have not seen that or noticed that at least right so I need this one will be did I run out of already shoot that's ridiculous I ran out of my uh, of belts already I have one belt left Good thing we have 500 more down here. That's ready for pickup. Oops. Oh, yeah, yeah, just keep banging. I'm sure you'll get it your way. There. That's 500 more. They'll get run over. That's my engine train. I like this square. I really do. Okay, let's get the tin here. Tin is... That one, I think, it has to be coming in at this location, and that means so far so good. That's okay, and in here, actually. This is how I need to do it for copper. That's also okay now. This one goes here. Nope, too close. I'm just really focused, that's why I'm a bit, being a bit quiet, I'm sorry. I need to click the right places and try not to make too many mistakes. Nope, not further than that. And this one, great. Now there's a hell of a lot of, of copying here. These ones will be NN, and this one will be N. This one will be LL. Nope. L, because it's long. And long. That should mean that these ones are actually going to be just regular. Copy, paste, copy, paste. And insert, 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 
insert reason for doing this is that then I don't have to use as many power bolts. Actually, isn't it better just to do that? That's a hell of a lot better. That's actually very nice. Can I hook it up to something? Yes, I can. Cool. Wow, those lights go just all over the place. That's that one. Uh, let's see, do I have a plastic train? Or let's be honest, uh, let's try. Let's get a plastic train. Where should that be? This should be plastic out to batteries in. Let's see, where are the batteries? Plastic and that goes out here. Ah, you're stuck. No, you're not. Yes, you are. You're stuck because of crap. Uh, we'll get to that. Anyway, I'll just put it in. Plastic, you go after batteries or before batteries, actually. That's what I wanted to see. It's definitely before batteries. Before batteries. This goes to... What the hell did I call this one? I have not called it anything yet. Where are my transistors in? Yeah, I know you can't get there, but I still want to put it up there. Activity or great. So that now that's done. Of course you can't get there. That's me being silly. So I'm missing plastic. That's the only thing I'm missing. Let's uh, try to hook this up. I'll actually remove this one because I need one, two, three. I can put these closer when they are uh, when they're small because now I can actually reach across with a normal power pole here. Let's build a few more of these. Copy, copy, copy. How many do I want of this? It's really the plastic that's causing the issue at this point. Ah, you know what, let's keep it to this location so far. Let's see, you're gonna have one inbound for each, one outbound. The outbound will be in. Copy, paste, paste. And on this side you'll have, you'll basically just have inputs. And these ones will be lengthened, copy, paste, paste. That's all fine. Inputs, copy, paste, paste, paste. And then from here we'll have, I'm also running out of these bad boys. That's another issue. I really want some plastic. Um, that's the inbound, so let's do it the same way. In, copy, paste, paste. I'll put the next one. There, there. Let's see how many I want. I think I want 12 on each side. Yes, that actually fits quite nicely. 12 on each side. That allows you to give me quite a, a throughput of this. I'm not sure I can actually keep up, but I can definitely not keep up. Yep, and this is the stupid thing I don't get. When you paste to a power pole, it stops working. Don't know why, I think that's, I would just say when you copy to something else, then it doesn't stop being whatever it is, like a power pole, it just uh, stops being something else. I'm quite sure I will not be able to get the, uh, the plastic in. The reason why it's not there is, yeah, it has to come from over on this side. And let's go here. That's kind of not really built. It has to go up here, roundabout, and over here to get in. I actually thought it would be able to get this way, but it isn't because I can only enter from the left-hand side, which also means that you go from plastic. You, I'd need to go all the way up here, enter here. Let's simulate something. And trying to find the train with plastic. I know the train is broken, but I want to see that it is work, that I can do something. 
I will figure out where the plastic train actually is. I know I have something, but not a lot. That one is jammed because of power. That one is also jammed because of power. Uh, yes, I did say something about me. Which one is this? It's oil out. That one. I'll grab you. That's really not a lot. That's uh, a bit of an... Uh, no, not a bit, but a huge issue. That's my circuit board, and I will go all the way up here to my third tier. I'll do it to this one, and this is basically saying it was the back row. So this one will... Yes, so let's pretend. I know that we are really running out of time, but I really just want to see that this is working. There are so many things here that are not really completely as they should be there. And I think I actually want to only insert on one row. This is just so pathetic with so little I have. And let's see what we have. We have in outbound transistors and I don't want all of these to go by like this and let's actually put them back in <coughs> and the transistors are coming along how much 5 66 so we've made transistors and they're ready to be picked up by train I mean I know that something will need to be cleaned up like the missing inserters here and there but I think this is a this is pretty good. And I can always extend it all the way down if I so choose. <clears throat> so we now have transistors and let's just recap for the next part is actually I have circuit boards, basically transport. I'll make those in a separate uh, location as well. Probably the one between us, uh, the one here, because then it's circuit boards. These They're all somewhere up here. And transistors, they are manageable, absolutely. Transistors, they were the tough ones, by far the toughest ones. And uh, then we actually are ready for the, the circuit boards, the solder. I don't know if I need to build that separately. Anyway, so thank you very much for joining, and I'll be seeing you in the next episode. Cheers, bye.